ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this first tutorial from Badbo. Uh, I've been asked to uh, put together a quick tutorial on, on how to make beats, uh, particularly mid-tempo breaks, funk-based beats, and um, to do that I've um, put together a new track that uh, I'm about to release, a free download, uh, and I thought it would make sense to try to uh, disassemble that uh, track and go through uh, particularly the beat side of it, uh, the process of how uh, to put together a beat for uh, a remix or an edit. Uh, so um, yeah, that's what I'm set out to do here. Um, uh, I'm trying to keep this less technical and more focused on the process, so hopefully you'll be able to take away something from this session, uh, regardless of what tool you're using. I'm pretty sure you're probably not using this tool, uh, although it is uh, quite nice when you have to do with uh, break beats or other kind of very sample based uh, type of songs, because it does handle a lot of samples very well and that's why I use it. Um, so let's get started. Here's, uh, here's uh, how it goes. So, gonna try to add the layers little by little here. Um, so what I've started out is uh, kind of putting together a classic beat and, and typically what I start out with is sampling some kind of old break beat from a uh, an old record and try to kind of uh, take each and every little instrument or sample from that uh, drum loop uh, and then kind of put it back together inside of the, the sequencer here and that becomes the basis of my beat. Um, in this particular situation I have kind of a, you can almost hear the vinyl noise behind this, uh, uh, a small hi-hat, a kick. Uh, snare and kind of a shaker sample and some other little instruments uh, which is being put together in in the sequencer here like I said don't want to go into too much detail on how to actually use this particular tool uh, I'd rather just kind of uh, explain what it is I'm putting on top of each other here so this very simple beat right here running at 105 beats per minute, uh, which is a, a kind of a, a steady, maybe a little bit slower than most uh, funky breaks tracks. Uh, they're usually around 110, 115. Um, so this is more of a kind of a boom bap type, a uh, little bit slower uh, kind of beat. So uh, what I'm going to try to do next is uh, layer another beat on top of that to kind of uh, empower the beat a little bit. Uh, with that, I've chosen a uh, a break beat or uh, uh, a more electro sounding. Beat if we uh, separate just that beat alone, you can hear that it has a little more uh, electronic sound to it. And if you layer that on top of the other classic beat here, you can hear they kind of accompany each other uh, and make more kind of funky beat. Uh, by laying them on top of each other. Uh, if we take a look at those samples that goes into that particular beat, uh, you find it in the list here. So the same type story as as with the other uh, kind of putting together, and you can kind of see they're being highlighted when they're being played in the sequencer here. Uh, so. Um, and they run the exact same pattern, so they just uh, sit right on top of each other. And um, that's kind of uh, the process. You would layer another piece of uh, drums on top of this, uh, and then you're basically improving or empowering your beat as you go along. Uh, next one is a more kind of ghetto funkish uh, type beat here, uh, calling it an electro beat. Uh, you could call a lot of different things. And um, same type steel, same pattern as the other two loops, but again, a little more punch to this one. Uh, played around with um, some of the uh, frequencies behind it to kind of 
try to power it a little bit more. I'm not gonna go into those details, but again, layering them on top of each other kind of helps. And yeah, I guess you uh, you guessed it by now. Next step is uh, adding yet another beat on top of that. Uh, and this one is really to get that uh, bassy uh, type sound you know, for the dance floor. So, so it's just like the, the raw basic sounds uh, of the breakbeat elements that are, are being supported by a little more beefy uh, bass drum and kick. Uh, typically a simple uh, pattern behind these but it it really helps in uh, the overall sound and uh, uh, power of the beat Let's just see if I can find it in the list here yep where, here it is so it's really just those three samples a kick uh, hi-hat and snare and uh, bring that together with the rest I'm trying to kind of get together now um, so um, this is really the uh, structure of the beat. Um, like I said in the beginning, it's a very, very simple track. Um, so um, a good place to start for any uh, anybody who wants to get into this type of music, uh, keeping it simple like that is uh, is typically the way to go and, um, uh, as you get, get into things. Um, all right, back to the beat. Um, so now what I want to try to do is make it a little more alive by adding some shakers and um, um, some little sounds to kind of uh, make the beat more uh, organic um, so it doesn't sound too programmed um, that's uh, something uh, I'd like to do is try to to make it sound like it's uh, a real drummer uh, playing it uh, somehow and and the, the little shakers and bongos and, and those type of things help to, uh, to kind of get that stuff out so um, if we take the next one here, there's a, a loop that I've put in here that, uh, and uh, I like doing it with loops here because it, it uh, allows it to be more organic. Each and every little sound are different. It's uh, played live and that helps to, um, to make the beat more, uh, more alive. Uh, same thing with this guy right here. how the notes are playing out there um, finally um, I put together a, a few little sounds and this uh, is something I like to put on at the very end when the beat is really sounding uh, good the way it is uh, having some little sounds that makes it interesting to, uh, to listen to and, and makes it stand out and um, typically you will hear that when you put on an old record and you hear those, uh, those break beats, there will be these little sounds in the middle of things uh, that, that kind of keeps it interesting and, and I try to program that into my beats uh, along with, uh, with these other uh, kind of organic elements. So this is just a few very simple sounds. I have this click clack noise here um, that's being played in there and, and a couple of um, synthesizer sounds you could say it also helps it you know that just to get more funky you know playing on those one and third notes uh, uh, kind of bring everything together and um, another thing I've added here is uh, just you know a crash uh, to start out the beat um, alright uh, next one here um, as you can see, um, I wanted to introduce a little bit of an alternative pattern here. Since I have all these little instrument kind of uh, 
separate it out I can easily change up uh, the way the, the drums are sounding and make new patterns um, so what I've tried to do here is add another little snare at the end um, give a, a variety to the beat you could say And um, yeah, that's kind of a very small introduction to uh, making beats and layering things on top of each other. Uh, I will be making all these uh, samples that I've used here available uh, so you can download them and try them out in uh, your tool and uh, hopefully make some new great music based on it. Um, I um, might be doing more tutorials with uh, more advanced topics a little bit later on, uh, but I do hope that you enjoyed this uh, session and uh, drop me a comment, a uh, note, and um, take care. Exotic purple contacts, hypnotized guys Potty train, your body frame Your booty tangerine My thing I lame Yo, nothing on the menu but hoes tonight That's good, I feel like chicken tonight To be tight, you love the way I'm kicking it, right? Make you feel high like hitting a pipe Psych, psych, fuck the cheat Let's get right Grab my hand, disappear in the night And I'ma smack it, flip it Rub it down, oh no I need a body bag